Hey guys, welcome back. So, I don't know if you saw the last video. Oh, actually, it wasn't the last video. It was a couple months ago. But we made a bunch of donuts. And we kind of temporarily put a bracelet together. But I wanted to resin the pieces, so I couldn't put it all the way together. So, I just wanted to show you the pieces now that they've been resined. And this is why I resin them. It just gives you such a beautiful shine. And it really brings out the stone effect. So, we're going to grab some, some beading wire, which I have here somewhere. And I thought I would put together the bracelet today. Alright, so I don't quite remember how I did it the last time. Hopefully I'll remember once I start going. So we're just going to hook up one side. And I've got all of these crimp beads in there. So I want one of these for the end. It's stuck very, very easy. I'm hoping that'll work. So we're just going to put this on for now. Uh. I like a lot of strain left over. I like to put them back through at least a couple of beads. I have all my tools here. They're just under this towel. And this is a new crimping plier that I have. I'm not quite sure if I like it or not. So the jury is still out on this one. It's just a little harder to grab than my other one. Or it could be because my eyes are horrible. Okay, so we're just going to bring that up a little bit. Okay. So we crimp it, and then we'll bring it into the next one. And push it down. So that it's nice and tight. And I always play with it to make sure. Okay. And then we're going to put one of these covers on it, but these covers are very interesting. They get stuck. And so I always have two that's stuck in another one. Okay, and we're just going to put that right there where the crimp is inside of it, if I can hold on to it. Watching me make jewelry sometimes is very painful because I just don't have the, I don't have the wrist strength. And it can get kind of frustrating watching me, I understand. It's really frustrating to myself. All right, let me go grab a different pair of pliers. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my Wubbers, which I really like Wubbers. Um, but if you notice, when you close it, there's a spring to them. These that somebody recommended, there's no spring. So I keep trying to bend these, but I'm afraid I'm going to break them. And those are the beetle-on ones. I don't like those at all. But I do have other Webbers. And they're just not working like they should the ends are a little bit off 
So that's a little aggravating. They don't they don't hold all the way to the end like they used to. So I just want this to fit straight. So I might have to go into it when the bracelet is put together. Okay, so we're going to cut about eight inches off of this, if not more. So we're going to go about right here, just to be safe. Okay, so now is the fun part. We're going to slide these in there. Now it'll be easy. Okay. So I'm going to look at the colors. I'm going to put some browns in there. I'm going to grab a spacer, one of these faceted rondelles, and another spacer. You don't need to put the spacers in there. I do just because the rondelles don't go all the way across. And I'm trying to keep the string from showing. So before I get too far, it's pretty tight, so this might be a little difficult to get it all the way through. Okay. If I can go through one more, that'll be great. If not, I'll just cut it right where it's at. And I'm going to kind of add it now rather than later. Okay, so we're going to add another spacer. just going to go all the way across the bracelet. That might be easier, kind of difficult to pull that through. I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to make it on the second one. It might be just a little too small to attempt it. But you know I'm going to try. Actually did it. Okay. I'll cut that off later. So now 
Now it gets much easier. That's interesting. There's something on the other side of this hole. It's preventing this from going in on this side. Okay, so we're just going to check. Ah, I didn't go in on that one, did I? This is why I always go back and look at what I did because most of the time I end up making at least one or two mistakes So far, everything looks about right. I got two spacers, a rondelle, two spacers, a rondelle. Okay, so, so far, so good. And we're on our last one. So, I found out from other people because my wrist is between six and a half and six and three quarters so I can't make things my size because it won't fit anybody else it seems like and when I finish this this ends up being about eight inches and I could not understand why when I measured it in the first place why it wouldn't fit on my wrist and I have been told, because this doesn't bend or anything like that, because of the way the beads are, that it won't, it won't fit. Because these don't give any movement at all. Okay, so if I look at that, even the clasps is going to make it tight. So I need a few spacers. But if I do the actual bracelet, I'm looking already at six and a half. So it's going to be seven inches when I'm done, but it's still fitting too tight. So somebody told me that because these don't bend, that they don't form to your wrist. They just kind of lay flat, and so you're going to need it a little bit longer. So if you're making these donut beads, make sure you use your wrist as a guide. Um, but it will be a lot bigger than your wrist. So let me get one more um, bead. I'm missing one here. Actually, I'm not but I think I need an extra one because I do need to go a little bit bigger. So let me grab a couple more and I'll be back. Okay, so these are really fun beads too, and I don't have a whole lot of them because I use them a lot. Um, I think I got these on Amazon. It was just a set with all kinds of different spacers, which were really cool. So we're going to do two here. Okay, and... I have this wonderful jump ring, but I had no closed jump rings. So what I did was I just very, very carefully put resin on the end. And you can't tell that I put resin on the end. And it helped to kind of close it up a little bit. So there's another copper piece right there. 
So that's what I have on the end here. And I've got a couple extra jump rings. That way if I have a customer that really likes it, but it's a little bit too small, I have jump rings already on the bracelet um, to make it bigger. So hopefully this is going to fit a little better. So we're going to go all the way back in here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of make, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to take the cheater's way and make it a little bit easier on me. What I mean by that is just by... Wow, I really cut that long, didn't I? Putting it back through as far as I can go before I tighten it up. And this is going to have to be through one by one. Just kind of manipulating the beads in the center until they go through. So I may have to pause this because this could take a little bit of time to get these to line up. All right, so let me pause this and I'll be right back. We are getting, I don't know if you can hear that outside, but we have a F-18 that just flew over the house. And no, I didn't go running after it. So I got it down past the first one. And that should be good enough because that's all I needed on this side. You never know when those things are going to fly over your house. Boy, when they do, they are loud and they're so fun to watch. We live right where we live on the runway. Um, kind of where the fighter pilots are built. It's about four miles away. So we were always lucky when the space shuttle flew over. We were able to see that um, when it came back on piggyback. Because of the weather being bad in Florida, a lot of times they would fly it over back to California. We've had it land a few times out here, so that was always something cool to watch too. Alright, so this is nice and tight, and if you want, you can always glue your crimp beads, but if you get it the way it's supposed to go on, they're on there really good. My only organized thing, right? Alright. So we're going to go ahead and put this last crimp on. Oy. The two things I pray for, for me, the most, is I don't lose my hands and I don't lose my eyesight. If I have to lose my legs, I'm okay with that. Just please let me keep my hands and my eyesight. And now as I get older and I'm starting to struggle with my hands, sometimes I'm wondering, is it time to quit? And it's like, nope. I may struggle, but I don't want to give up what I love. I may be a little slower to do things, but honestly, I don't care. All right, so now we're done. And now we're just gonna snip this wire. And did I snip the other one? Nope, there it goes. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it doesn't give like a regular bracelet because of the donuts. So you might have to make it a little longer. 
<laughs> now, if I can get the toggle clasp on, we're going to be golden. And I'm meeting my daughter for lunch in a couple of hours, so I'm going to bring this and show her. All right, so there we go. So there is that bracelet we showed you. I really like it. And again, I got that extra ring on there. But let me just show you the final size. And like I said, my wrist is six and a half to six and three quarters. My bracelets are usually six and three quarters. And I know that the clasp is on this, so that might make a little bit of a difference. But when this connects, it's connecting right there. So we're going to take that about right there. And we're almost at eight inches. So it's quite a bit of a difference. So add an extra inch and a half, I guess, to your bracelet. But that's it. Hope you like it. And wow, I don't know when the next one's going to be done. I'm still working on more beads. Um, I really want to sand the rest of them, but I really don't want to do it by hand. But if I wait until the tumbler's full, it's going to take a while. So I'll see what else I have, and maybe we can start putting something else together tonight. So I hope you like that. I will probably put that in the community page so you can take a look at it closer. And we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.